It could happen to anyone. A somber reminder after multiple drownings in our area. There was another boating accident this weekend, this time in Tuscaloosa. But as our Lee Garner explains tonight, this accident that sent a 20-year-old woman to the hospital had one big difference. There have been a lot of tragic stories lately when it comes to reports of drownings here in our area. For one family, though, tonight they are breathing a little bit easier, knowing that a life jacket did its job. When you see it on TV, it shows a person floating when they drown, and that's all Hollywood. Uh, usually when a person takes in water, it's just a matter of seconds before they go under. And when they go under, they stay under. It was just before 7 Monday evening when Tuscaloosa Fire and Rescue responded to a call on the Black Warrior River. Elena Thomas had been tubing with friends when she was knocked out. Possibly it could have just been the impact with the water. I mean, you know, sometimes you get the water at the right angle, and it'll, it'll knock you unconscious. Although she was reportedly face down and had taken on some water, Thomas was wearing a life jacket and was still visible to her friends who were able to pull her to the shore and call for help. Without the life jacket, it could have been a very bad situation. This year's been really bad. We've had before the weekend started, we had seven fatalities already since January. Now I think we're up to 10 counting what was going on this weekend. Here's another statistic from law enforcement that can help put it in perspective. In 90% of the drownings that they work, the person was not wearing a life vest. And in 80% of those cases, the person believed themselves to be a good swimmer. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Lee Garner, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.